Hi, my name is Guru Zen, Senior Solutions Engineer at Caminario. In the following video, I will demonstrate how the Caminario K2 All Flash Array, with its native replication feature, is capable to deliver more than a disaster recovery solution, but also automatically streamline consistent copies of Oracle database environments to remote sites for test and dev, QA and more. The environment in this demo consists of two sites a protected site and a recovery site. Each site has a virtualized Oracle server connected to a K2 All Flash Array. The Oracle server on the protected site is running a production database that is being replicated to the recovery site. The Oracle server on the recovery site will run consistent copies of the same database. The entire replication procedure is triggered and managed by a standalone management workstation. In order to understand the entire automatic Oracle replication procedure, let's first run the procedure manually and go over the different steps that take place. The first step is taking consistent application snapshot of the production database. From the management workstation, we interact with the Oracle database on the protected site and puts it into hot backup mode. Once completed, using the K2 GUI, we can take a snapshot of the Aura Data Volume Group Putting the database in hot backup mode ensures that the snapshot taken are application consistent point in time. Exit the hot backup mode and take a snapshot of the Aura Archive volume group. As you can see, the snapshots are instantly created and are immediately replicated to the recovery site. K2's replication mechanism is based on Caminario's mature snapshot platform, so only the deltas that were created from the last snapshot are replicated to the recovery site. We will go now to the snapshot view to monitor the arrival of the snapshot to the recovery site. A check mark in the has been column indicates it has arrived. The second step is the creation of a writable snapshot from the replicated snapshot, what we call view. We will now go to both Aura Data and Aura Archive volume groups and create a view for each of the groups. As part of the view creation step, we can map the view to the respected host group as well. Now the views are mapped to the respected hosts and have LAN IDs. In the current demo, the Oracle servers are virtualized, means that the next step will be rescan the ESX cluster hosts to recognize the new LANs and attach the LANs as RDM disks to the standby Oracle server. This step is required as we are working on a virtual environment. When working with physical hosts, this step is unnecessary. We are now looking at a VMware vCenter client that manages the recovery site hosts at the secondary Oracle Server VM summary view. On the standby VM, we add the new discovered LANs as RDMs to the host. The next step is to mount the new LANs in the Oracle server. Before mounting the LANs, a SCSI bus rescan is needed so the OS can recognize the new devices. The database server was already configured with the required mount options, and now we just need to mount the disks. The database is now ready to be used. The last step is to start the Oracle database. As the startup procedure completes, we can run an analytics workload on the new database running on the recovery site. This is a list of all the steps done manually. We took an application consistent snapshot with hot backup mode created views and mapped them on the secondary site. We scanned the vCenter data stores, added the new LANs as RDM disks to the waiting secondary database, run a Linux SCSI bus rescan, mounted the new disk devices to its mount points, started the Oracle database, and run an analytics workload. Let's run the automatic procedure. 
K2's native replication allows Oracle users to benefit not only from a disaster recovery framework with a sub-minute RPO and sub-second RTO, but also from a remote environment running up-to-date database for reporting, test and dev, QA, and so forth. Thanks, and come visit us at Kaminaria.com.